Coach, while you had a couple of standouts in, in Stowe and Bennett, through the season you had to develop number six on the fly. What's the process like when you have one kid, I guess he's from Jacksonville, who comes in and has to play right now uh, in a group of other guys who had actually been here and had, had some uh, game time experience? Right. Well, there, there's always uh, – the plan was always to play court. Um, now, did he end up playing you know, more plays than probably he needed to at that particular time? Yeah, but that's the landscape of college football. You kind of got to grow. Um, but, you know, I think with Corey, he did an excellent job um, and probably was one of our more most improved guys towards the end of the year. Um, with a defensive back, it's, it's, it's just about experience and it's about being able to take those mental pictures about whether it be stems or routes or combinations of, of, of things that he sees out there. Once he started to get comfortable with that, um, I think you, you started to see uh, the talent and why we brought him here started to come out. So, you know, everybody kind of goes through a journey, uh, and everybody's journey is different. And, you know, he got thrusted in there, and although he took his lumps, I liked the way he responded in the end, and ultimately that's all you can ask for. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. Every firm. single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, Listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Coach, in terms of your two guys, uh, Bennett and Still, um, specifically, I know you talk in general, um, but anything specific that you went over with each of those guys that you want to see them pick up? Well, I, I think those guys really had the ability to um, impact games. Um, and, you know, where... Both of those guys at one point in time in their career led the country in past breakups. And when you go back and you watch the film, a lot of these breakups could be catches. You know what I mean? But whether it be um, you know, just lack of confidence or like I said, just trying to make sure that they're making uh, the right play and not going after and attacking the ball. Um, but I think, you know, in year three, I think they both understand it. And I think they see where they can make more plays to be able to impact those guys. And so that's what I really look forward to because those guys have put the film, uh, put the film work in. I mean, obviously they do what they need to do out there on the field, preparing physically to get ready. But it's the mental aspect that these guys have really, you know, jumped into and wanted to have a more of a, uh, a role in terms of their development and their career. And so that's, I think that's the next piece for them, you know what I mean, from a, from a mental preparation standpoint, you know what I mean, how, seeing how they go, those guys can go out there and make some more plays. And it's Banks, you see, progressing as he... Oh, absolutely. Like, and that's the thing, you know, Banks is right along with them. You, know, you asked about him even still, I guess, because those guys finished the year. But like I said, I, I got a group of guys where... I feel like I have, you know, I don't just have two starters. I have a number of starters that can play. You know, if they were anywhere else, you know what I mean, in the country, they could probably, you know, you could go with guys who got there as starters. You know what I mean? And it's a good problem for me to have, but, you know, what it does is it breeds competition. And so when you got a room full of guys who would love to compete, you know what I mean? Ultimately, I think, you know what I mean, the defense wins. And, um, you know, we will find room for all of these guys to be able to get out there and do their thing. But, like I said, I think all of these guys have the ability to make plays for us in, in one way or another. You know, Tariq take the 92-yard punt back on special team. You know, De Deontay Banks was a running back in high school. I think he could be a kickoff returner. So, you know, I'm fortunate to have the guys who have enough talent that can make plays and uh, a multitude of aspects for us on uh, you know, in our in our program.